Thick clouds of smoke rose over Beirut on Friday following an Israeli airstrike that shook the Lebanese capital. It was by far the most powerful attack carried out by Israel in the city during nearly a year of conflict with Hezbollah. UN spokesperson Stefan Dujaric emphasized the global body's concern over the attack during a press briefing. We are watching the developments unfold in Beirut with great alarm. An Israeli source was cited in the news outlet Axios as saying Hezbollah leader Sayed Hassan Nasrallah was the target of the strike. A source close to Hezbollah told Reuters that Nasrallah was alive, while Iran's Tasnim news agency also reported he was safe. Iran-backed Hezbollah's Al Manar television reported that four buildings were destroyed and there were many casualties in the multiple strikes. Rescue crews could be seen on site here, pulling two children who are alive from the rubble. The Israeli military said it had carried out a, quote, precise strike on Hezbollah's headquarters. Israel has struck Beirut's southern suburbs four times over the last week, killing at least three senior Hezbollah military commanders and more than 700 people in the country. In a televised statement, Israeli military spokesperson Daniel Hagari said the Central Command Center was embedded deep within civilian areas. I didn't intend to come here this year. The strikes hit Beirut shortly after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to continue Israel's attacks on Iranian-backed fighters in Lebanon in a closely watched United Nations speech as hopes faded for a ceasefire that could head off an all-out regional war. The United States was not involved in this operation, and we had no advanced warning. Pentagon spokesperson Sabrina Singh told reporters Friday that while the U.S. was not told in advance about the Beirut strike, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin did speak with his Israeli counterpart as the operation was ongoing. Singh declined to say what Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant told Austin about the operation and whether it indeed targeted Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. The Pentagon also declined to speculate on whether the Hezbollah leader was still alive.